Hi friends, this is lecture number 23 of power system series. Here in this lecture, we are going to study the calculation of self GMD by shortcut method. So see, these are two conductors 1 and conductor 2. For two conductor system, we know that we can write the self GMD DS as first take the distance with respect to conductor 1 and multiply it with the distances with respect to conductor 2. So we will get D11 into D12 multiplied by D21 into D22 and take 1 by N square n square where n is the number of conductor here number of conductors is 2 so n square is equals to 4 so so we will take the power 1 by 4 so on putting the value of d11 and d12 d21 and d22 we get r dash s under root r dash s now consider conductor 1 only in that case self gmd is equals to d11 and d12 because we are taking the distances with respect to conductor 1 only so in that case we get d11 into d12 to the power 1 by 2 that is equals to again uh, equals to under root of r dash so we are getting the same conductor same same result that is same self gmd whether we are taking the distances with respect to both conductors and whether we are consider taking the distances with respect to conductor 1 only. So in both cases we are getting the same results. Now seize these three conductors. This is conductor 1, this is 2 and this is 3. These all three conductors are placed at, at vertices of a equilateral triangle and distance between all these three conductors is same. So we can write d11 into d12 d13 d21 into d22 into d23 into d31 into d32 into d33 so here we take the dis distance with respect to all three conductors and what, what what is power we will take we will take n square here n is equals to 3 so 1 by 9 so we get r dash d dot d to the power 1 by 3 so now now again we will consider the conductor 1 only suppose and we will take the distances with respect to conductor 1 only so when we take conductor 1 only then self gmd ds is equals to d11 into d12 and d13 and power of and its power is equals to 1 by 3 so again we are getting r dash dot d dot d to the power 1 by 3. So again we are getting the same result. So what is the conclusion we can draw from this? So conclusion is if conductors of same radius are placed on the edges of a regular polygon. Now what is regular polygon? Regular polygon means polygon whose all sides are equal. So examples of polygon are straight line, equilateral triangle, square, rectangular, rectangular, not rectangle, 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 square and regular pentagon, regular hexagon, all these are regular figures. Here all the sides of these figures are equal. So that's why we call them regular polygon. So conclusion is if conductors of same radius are placed on the edges of a regular polygon then we can find the self gmd by taking one conductor only so this is conclusion so this shortcut method is only applicable when the conductors are placed on the edges of a polygon whose all sides are equal or we can say that polygon is regular now another important concept is double circuit line so what is double circuit line actually they are very commonly used in power transmission so when there are six lines on a single tower it means there are two lines for each phases then we can say that this is a double circuit line so when there are six line on a tower for three phases then it is called double circuit line and why it is used it is used to enhance the power transmission capability of transmission line. So
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो आई होप यू